So Genshin Impact has been a little bit stale for me recently. There's not really been a lot for me to cover or, or even do in-game. But with version 1.5 due to release on April 28th, it does look like we have a shed load of new content with new bosses coming, new areas, new characters, new weapons, new artifacts. So much to cover. So let us get straight into it and let's check out everything that we know so far about Genshin version 1.5. What's going on guys? I'm River Fox. Welcome back to the channel. Now, as I said, this is the version 1.5 special program review and this is going to go through everything that we know so far about the Genshin Impact version 1.5. Now, it is due to release on April 28th and there's generally a few hours downtime, but for this update, I'm, I'm quite looking forward to getting this this new content it, it has been a little bit slow recently there's not been a lot for me to cover and there's not even been a lot for me to do in the game just daily resin and commissions and logging out but there's going to be new bosses new characters new weapons new domains artifacts special events going on, uh, the return of the Zhongli banner with some more Zhongli storyline. There is so much to get through. So we're going to try and get through it as quick as we can. Now with the special program, they did start off with a brand new trailer for the season. And it, it pretty much all seems to be centering around the, the little girl under the tree in Liwa. Now, if you haven't got to that point in the story yet, then don't worry, you will come to that. But there is a girl that stands under a tree in Liwa, and she is always predicting the pending doom that is to follow. And it looks like it's pretty damn badass boss that is going to come out of it. Now, I'm not sure at the moment whether it's going to be a repeatable boss that you can do with your daily resin, or whether it's just going to be part of the storyline and maybe come as a boss later on. I'm not entirely sure, but it does look an absolutely badass new boss. It's, it's going to make Child look like a kitten compared to this new dragon. Now, on top of that, we also are going to have a brand new Cryo Hypostasis, which is another cube boss and it's, it's going to give some some new rewards some different rewards obviously relating to our new characters that we're going to be getting as well and one of those is eula she's going to be a cryo claymore user and she looks pretty damn fine and she's got some pretty awesome moves to go with her she's going to be a four star i believe because she's going to be on the zhongli banner so yeah, she, she's going to be a really cool addition for any Cryo users and any Claymore users as well. She is going to be awesome. Possibly she may use the rewards that you'll get from the new Cryo Hypostasis. Now, we've also got Yenfei. She's going to be a Pyro character. And she also, she looks like she's going to have some pretty damn awesome abilities to her as well so quite looking forward to her coming out i'm not sure if she's going to be on a separate banner with the last few updates we've been getting the banners for two weeks three weeks so we're probably going to get two banners or something in this next uh, chapter as well so she may be coming out in a separate one there will also be a brand new sword as well which is called the song of broken pines that more than likely is going to be usable with Eula, so it'll be a perfect match for those two. We've also got some new artifacts sets that are coming out for both Pyro and Cryo as well. So they look like they will be pretty damn good. And they're going to come with their own brand new domain to go with it. So new domain for us to check out as well. 
For anyone that did enjoy the Hangout events, there's going to be a two new ones uh, coming out in 1.5. We've got Act 1 of The Cat and the Cocktail, and we've got Act 2, Nightly Exam Prep. So they're going to be coming out as well. I wasn't a huge fan of those personally, but for anyone that did enjoy those, there's some additions of those coming out. Now, there's going to be two new storylines. We are going to get Act 2 of the Zhongli storyline, and we're going to get Act 1 of the Eula story as well. So, some more chances to get Prima Gems and other great rewards. Now, a little bit more information that we do have about one of the new bosses that we're going to be getting there is Ejdeha. And it, it is kind of a element-changing dragon um is for the better word i think it's going to be quite similar to the geo bishop boss that we have where it can change element periodically when you go to fight it so yeah it's is going to test our skills to the limit and it's going to make child look like a bit of a pussycat to be honest so i'm quite looking forward to testing that out especially on my main account where i've got some some pretty decent characters on there so definitely can't wait to check that new boss out now another new boss that we're going to be getting as well is the abyss lector now you would have seen him from the current event which is going on at the moment with the traveler and the um sibling we did get to test it out in that event, but we never got to, to really go in and do any more with that boss afterwards. So we're going to be getting that as a permanent boss as well. So there's quite a few new bosses that they're adding in. Now, in my opinion, what I think is probably going to be one of the biggest parts of the version 1.5 update is a brand new feature, which is called the Serenity Pot. And it's, it's essentially a magical world that you can go into and it will be your own private world that you can you can build houses you can build cities you you can pretty much build your own island and furnish the houses and coming at a later date you will be able to put in any of your current characters that you have in the game anyway they won't be in there initially but you will be able to add them later but you can put furnishings you can grow plants you can do so much in there it's, it's pretty much going to be a game in itself so i'm really really looking forward to that i think it's going to be a fantastic feature i am one of these people that do like to build things and set things up and you know spend a long time getting your your perfect own little village within the game i think it's going to be an awesome feature so that is going to be coming out in 1.5 it's got so much to it already and there's so much that they are going to be adding in to it at a later date but it's not just a case that you'll just be sitting there building things and you know that's that you will be able to gain rewards from completing stuff in there you'll be able to get more and, and other rewards in the process so it's going to be a fantastic feature and especially for people like myself who I'm currently AR55 in the game. I've explored the entire area so far. There's very little for me to do. So this is going to give me something that I can go in. Once I've done my dailies, uh, I can go in there and just spend some time um, getting the perfect village, which is going to be absolutely awesome. I just... I can't wait for that feature to come out. You will be able to do it with co-op as well. You'll be able to go into your friend's world um, if they let you. And, you know, you can get some inspiration from there. Or, you know, you can just, yeah, you can, you can just play it with friends or play it on your own as well. So, fantastic feature. Can't wait for this bit to come out. Now, as with any of the seasons in Genshin Impact, we do have seasonal events as well. So we've got a few that are coming out. We've got something about fractured fruit cores where you can gain additional attack and damage to your characters uh, for a short length of time. So that's, that's an event that's going to be coming out. does look like it will be interesting. I, I don't know really how well it's going to work until it comes out but it does look like it's, it's going to be a temporary event for us anyway 
and the higher the difficulty that you set the the more rewards that you're going to get from it so should be something there for everybody no matter how powerful you are or how expert you are at the game it should be something to help everybody we've got misty dungeon um another event that is coming out so that looks like a another good way to get some prima gems mora crystals talent books things like that and another event that's coming out is going to be with the unusual hilly churl which is going to work slightly different than it normally would if you find them around the world you you're going to need to do various different tasks in in order to get the rewards but chances are they should be relatively easy to complete as well and a, another event that's going to be coming out and i think this is only a temporary thing as well i don't know whether it's going to end up being permanent or what but we've got wind trace which is essentially a hide and seek game that you can play with friends so if you are bored and you've got nothing else to do in genshin impact why not play a game of hide and seek who doesn't like a game of hide and seek i think i could you know probably give a good few hours of fun and entertainment um especially if you've got three you know three other people playing with you then yeah i think it could be fun but we'll see another event again we're going to have the overflowing mastery it's a little bit like the ley line events where you could get double rewards from ley lines well this one is going to be for your talent level up books instead so anybody who needs to grind those out plenty to uh, keep you busy getting those talent box a few small things to note as well with mail they are adding in a new feature that you'll get a new mail to let you know when a certain event is going to be ending currently you only get them when an event is starting but there's never anything to say you know that that's when it's going to be finishing so you'll get a new mail then to let you know when it's going to end as well so that is pretty much everything in the version 1.5. I am I'm really looking forward to it. We we're, we're on the right path now to getting some some really good content in there to keep us busy. Some new bosses, new characters, new weapons, new areas hopefully to explore. And definitely this this brand new house building feature is is going to be amazing. I can just tell. So I'm hoping to cover a lot of this new content when it comes out. I'm I'm really looking forward to it. I can't wait. So if you do want to share that with me, then don't forget to hit a like, smash that subscribe, turn on the bell. You'll always get updated my new videos when they come out. Also check in the description for links for my Twitter, Twitch, Discord and also my other channel where I do stream quite regularly as well, both Genshin and other games. So do check it out, but I hope you have a fantastic day, and until the next one, stay safe, my friends.